Hello everybody, I am here uh, just doing some white wax on this dresser. So, um, I use wax quite often as a sealer. So this is not, um, this is not uh, metallic wax I'm using. This is wax as in the top coat which is the one I'm using right now is Annie Sloan um, and it's a white wax. So I'm now sealing. I'm finished with this dresser I've been working on and this is one of my drip methods. So I'm just now sealing the dresser and so I am sealing it with this wax. you guys haven't seen any of my videos, um, you know, one of the things I always advise when you're using wax as a sealer is you want to make sure that you work in sections. That is the secret to success is you work in sections. You cannot do a whole piece um, when you're working with wax as a top coat. Because the wax actually dries really fast and then it gets tacky and um, it's gonna ruin, it's gonna ruin the, the look. So you wanna make sure you work in sections. I'm really happy with how this turned out. This is uh, sort of a drip, drip method. And if you see a hair, just get it off. So you can see the white, the wax is actually a really, really good sealer on top of these transfers. Um, this is the Prima, one of the Prima, actually two, two of the Prima transfers I put on this dresser and wax is a really good top coat on top of the transfers. And when I wax, um, I use two coats of wax as my top coat and that is all it needs is just two coats. So I wait 24 hours in between coat one and coat two. This is turning out to be a really cute dresser and you can see here, um, so this is a totally different kind of wax. This is the wax I showed you the other day on that stencil. So this is a stencil and I used a metallic wax. So a metallic wax is a decorative wax. It's not a top coat, it's not a sealer like these other waxes are, right? And you can put normal wax right on top of metallic wax um, as a sealer because this metallic wax is, it's totally hardened now. And so um, I'm sealing it all. I'm really happy with how this dresser is turning out. It's cute as a button. So yeah, I love using the wax on top of the uh, transfers. So just work in section when you're using this top coat. And you want to use uh, brushes that are, you want to use brushes that are um, natural bristle brushes. You don't want to use like a paintbrush synthetic, you want them to be kind of thick and tough. Hello, Debbie from Scotland. There's a couple of you that watch from Scotland. Who's the other one? Jill. So you want to just put this on. Um, let's see who all is watching. Sandra and Bobby. Thank you. So just work in sections. Um, So 
I did film this uh, dresser and I have a tutorial on how I do the um, this drip method here. So I just have to edit it all and put it together and I'll be releasing that tutorial on how I do this. It's kind of like a tie-dye look, isn't it? So when you're putting on the wax, um, if you guys want to know, there's lots of videos on my uh, YouTube channel on waxing. Um, so besides working in sections, what you're doing is you're actually pushing the wax in. So I almost do the method where I'm buffing it. So I'm pushing, see how I'm pushing the wax in? I'm pushing the wax in and then I'm rubbing it I'm rubbing it in and taking off the excess at the same time. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Are all the flowers from the one transfer? Um, e let me think. Nope, this is actually two transfers. Isn't this adorable? So, no three. This one, this is from the transfer called Blessed Home. I only use this portion of it. Uh, there's actually more sections to it. And then most of this is from Delicate Floor. So this is sort of the pastels I'm going for here. I didn't want anything bright. So this, most of this is Delicate Floor. But my um, the base I started with, see these long ones? So there's a long one here and there's a really long one here, tall one. And there's this tall one over here. That's from the transfer called Bonjour. So most of it is delicate floor, and then a couple tall ones are from Bonjour. But delicate floor is a good transfer because there's a whole lot of flowers in it, and it comes in two pieces, and, um, you know, so many flowers are in that transfer, and it's perfect for doing something like this, where you can cut it all apart and lay it like this, like a garden. Thank you. Helena's my top fan. You are now my top fan. Wasn't it something else this morning? <laughs> I can't remember. It's so funny. All right, so let's keep going here. So you want to wait in between layer one and layer two of of wax you want to wait 24 hours and you want that first top coat of wax to really have time to do its job which is to protect the paint that's the job of the um, wax is the wax is going to protect the paint right it's the sealer so you need to give it some time to really settle on the paint and um, protect it before you put on uh, top coat number two. I'm number one in your <laughs> hmm something looks something's wrong right here I've got to check into that and see what that is see how it just glides really well on top of these transfers. It's just a really good sealer um, for the transfers. It 
it doesn't do it doesn't um it leaves a matte finish which is what i like but if i wanted to give it a satin finish all you have to do is you just have to buff more so that is the trick to getting a satin look with wax is the buffing so if i wanted this to be sort of more of a sheen of a satin sheen then i would have to come back um after this sits for a couple days and i would come back with my rag and i would just rub like crazy and that would give it a satin sheen but i don't you know that's not really typically the look that i do And because I'm buffing and I'm, uh, how long do you leave the transfers before you wax? You don't have to wait in between transfers and sealers. It's only between paint and transfers that I wait. But between transfers and your top coats, whether it's a water top coat or a wax uh, top coat, you don't have to wait. As soon as you're done your transfers, you can, you can put on your top coat. So there's no waiting period needed between top coat and um, between your transfer application and your top coat. So that's it. You see how fast it is? It's super fast. So um, that's it. I think I am done. I've already done the sides and I've done the top. And on the top, I did the script stencil with chalk paste and some butterflies, just like here on the side. There's some little butterflies here. I did some butterflies at the top too. So there you go, you guys. This is a sneak peek at the dresser. This is one of my drip methods I do. Straight away, good to know. Yep, straight away you can seal. So there it is. So that's it you guys it's that fast putting on your wax it's super super fast so thanks for watching and i think that is it for now i think i've already done the rest i did down here so i've got to look into this something's happening right here i've got to check that out um so there and then once this sits for a good uh, couple days, I'm going to go ahead and put on the knobs, but I don't want to do that until I let the wax sit for a couple days. Um, so there we go. All right. Thanks, you guys.